I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. We're back at my buddy's Rick's house to see what kind of progress he's made with his tank and his nuisance algae issue. And if you remember, Rick just made a switch from being a tank dabbler to a reef enthusiast, which means he's starting to add in corals to his tank. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to my website, mrsaltwatertank.com, and download my free report on tank personalities. So we're back here today to see what kind of progress Rick's made on his tank and see how it's looking. Rick, this tank looks phenomenal. I don't even recognize it. I mean, your zinnia is out, your polyps are out, you got no algae on the rock. What did you do? Adding the phosphate reactor, adding the, the, the new skimmer, and then doing the three days of darkness really took care of my algae problem. It's down to nearly zero. Yeah. I couldn't be happier at this point. I've seen you suffer through this for six <laughs> months. You, you come over and you're like, what the hell, this sucks. <laughs> like, my tank doesn't look like your tank. And then you go to the next meeting, I'd say the next month, and you're like, what the hell, my tank doesn't look like this. And half the time you're like, forget it, I'm out of here, I'm leaving. <laughs> and now it's like, I look at this tank and it's like, whoa, holy cow, like this is not the same tank that I saw last time. So Rick's been running the phosphate reactor for about a week now. And as you can see from his tank, he's already having some great results. So let me walk you through the reactor in action so you can really get an idea of how it works. So first step, the water comes up through the pump and it's gonna get pushed down to the bottom of the reactor and then up through the media. This is what makes phosphate reactors so great. They push that water through your media so you get lots of efficiency and you get a lot of money out of that media. A lot of people put bags of GFO and they throw them in the corner of their sump. And the problem is there's no water running through that media which has the GFO suck down those phosphates. But with the reactor, that water has to go through the media to get back out. Now Rick's got the flow a little high for my liking. You can see that it's churning over a lot. And if you look at his skimmer, you can see that this is some of the dust particles that are collecting and being skimmed off. You want it to just slightly tumble, but not so much that it's grinding. So for about $45, we got a cheap and easy solution. You can load this up with your phosphate media. You can put your carbon in there. It's a very easy way to get that water around that media and get it working at its highest capacity. So Rick, thanks for being with us. It sounds like you're really enjoying your tank again. It, it really does make a difference when you're not sitting in the chair looking over here going, God, it looks like a sump. <laughs> you know, it, it really makes a, a huge difference. I really appreciate you coming out and giving me the advice and your expertise in helping getting my tank back in shape the way it should be. Absolutely. That's the best part for me is seeing you enjoy this tank because that's why you got into the hobby was to enjoy it. Absolutely. Perfect. Thanks for being with us, Rick. Thank you.